Rishi. So today the, we want to say, say a very awesome, awesome story. story, and it's a very long, not a long story, but uh, a movie also came in the story. Uh, the Gulliver story. story. It is a very very old story before the 2000s. Yeah. So the story we are going to tell very slowly. Mm. Okay, guys. So let's go into the story. Once upon a time, mm. there lived a man mm. called Gulliver. Mm. He was a great doctor and uh, he was a good art art worker. He helped many people. Uh, uh, a lot of people did not come for his clinic, so he did. A new job. Wherever the ship goes, he goes in that ships and he does treatments in that. One day, while he and his crew members were going, and uh, a, a man got hurt and he was uh, just putting the medicine. And that time there was a big wave that put the ship, ship down. down. When the boat got down, all of the the crew members inside that came out. Uh, they took a mini boat. Uh, everyone came in that, but the mini boat could not manage them because the lot of people yeah. were there. Uh, well, there were only three crew boats. All crew boats in the two crew boats broke. Only ten people cannot sit in that. And the, a big wave came and it fell down. And of, then, uh, after three days, uh, Gulliver woke up. He was in the island and he was in the land shore. He and, could not get and he was saved by the wood and others died when he reached the island when he reached the island there uh, there, uh, there uh, he saw the place uh, the tree was very small everything was small suddenly someone called him back when he see that a man put an arrow on his head and uh, the uh, Gulliver fall down and after some time he woke up he was in a slept way and all side the small tiny tiny soldiers were ar arrested him and they were uh, one, they were having a small small arrows they were starting shoot for him because they were scared they called him as the monster but uh, he told that I am not a monster like that but no one believed him everyone started shooting him shooting shooting but nothing happened to him so after three days or four days, again, he was very kind to people. In the same place only he was arrested. But uh, everyone told he was a very good boy like that. So people did not know what to do. So uh, they wanted to test. For three days, they left him alone. Then he was very kind to everyone. So the, uh, the court uh, poet told that, I want to investigate you. Are you good or bad or which country are you from? Because yeah. this place, uh, the island, now only you know that is called a lily pot. And this island, they lily have an enemy. They have another enemy. Enemy. That is called the enemy. Okay, the island is, uh, let's keep that as enemy. I will tell the name of the island. So, uh, he asked, who is that enemy? The king told nothing. Yeah. And, um, the king told, uh, "Okay, you can be in my pal in my palace, uh, in my state, in my uh, country. I have, I can build you a big house." Uh, so the worker all helped him and and uh, uh, made him a very big house. And but uh, he could not uh, do anything in that house. Uh, uh, he, uh, but the king told that you have to do some work. <coughs> to stay here. The king was very rude enough and he told if you, do, you don't do any work here you can get lost. Okay, said Gulliver and Gulliver started doing some help. He did some help like lifting the people up and keeping up like that and he started to move in some big big carts and he, made a, he thought how to make boats, how to make wheels and like that many invention and the king got everything uh, what all he's doing so he called the king called Gulliver to his court and the Gulliver went to his court and asked yes so the king called him for the dinner when Gulliver ate the people asked where did you come from he told that I'm coming for the earth what is earth uh, it's a big planet no one did not understand what is a planet because they all don't know because uh, they all have different they asked uh, uh, the king asked them uh, oh good okay you can go and sleep the dinner is over okay the king had and had some advisors uh, who started advising them the advisors told that uh, 
uh, uh, this Gulliver uh, is a bad man. They are te- they were telling lies so they can get a new seat. They wanted to be the best uh, advisors for the king, but uh, the king told that no, 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 no. I know Gulliver is a very good boy. Uh, you should uh, start doing some work. Uh, the the given work I've done. So the king was going in this way. In that time, the our uh, Gulliver was helping the people. That time there was a bell, dung, dung. If two times that means it's fire. If three times means it's a war. They told that uh, um, that um, one of the man who went in the boat of Gulliver, a small boat which was made by Gulliver, when he went, he saw that uh, he went uh, to the uh, that enemy land which is called that Lily Lat. Okay, the Lily Lat people are very dangerous. Like did many things they told to Gulliver and uh, that enemy. Yeah. No, no, no. Then that um, the little boat went to the the that uh, man uh, who was Gulliver's friend, and uh, he took the Gulliver's uh, small boat and went. Uh, and uh, he told that uh, that they were planning something because by mistake I landed in their island and they were doing something. So this uh, uh, this everything uh, came to the notice of the king, and king. the king told that oh God, they are going to attack us. Gulliver, I will give my full uh, gold. Please save us. The Gulliver told, I don't want any gold. Uh, I will help you. Um, he said, but I need more uh, food. The king said, yes. So the Gulliver went. Uh, he asked the villagers, how much big threads you have? Give me the long, long, long strings, threads or rope, whatever you have. The villagers gave him a very big thread. They eat. Uh, stitch everything and made a big rope. He went to the enemy's country and when all were sleeping, he tied all the ships which were coming to attack uh, Lilliput. He tied everything and he took to the Lilliput. Then time uh, some soldiers were sleeping in the country and some were in the ship. He took everything and kept in the Lilliput. And everyone were happy. Wow, we have done a good thing for us this time, like that. But uh, then uh, they arrested all the crew members in that um, that uh, enemy ship. So everyone appreciated Gulliver. This this uh, what to say this this advisors were very angry. They wanted to do something. So this uh, so the advisor self took the matchstick and put it in the boat. So the court was full of fire. So now they thought, how will Gulliver ha, 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 do anything? Then Gulliver stand up and took a big boat uh, or a small boat. But uh, for them it's a big boat. He just took water in the boat and poured in the palace. And everyone, you have saved us again our life. You are the king. Then uh, like uh, you are our um, next king like that. Uh, now king self got very angry. Oh God, if I am one, you will be the next king. So the king told that Gulliver, you are a bad monster. You can go out. So Gulliver went out of the island. He was very alone. That time, what he did means, he you know, he he uh, he, uh, he was uh, uh, he was searching his boat everywhere in the water, but he could not get it. So he swam and went to the enemy's island. Enemy's island, everyone know that he was the good man. Like any arrow, he, they welcome the lily lad. King was very kind. He thought that lily lad, that that all that enemy. Let's say that in enemy island self, the enemy island will be very dangerous. But the king was very good than that king. He gave the food and he didn't ask anything. You can stay here for many years like that. Uh, King told Gulliver was very happy, but then also he helped her like the same. He was very kind, Gulliver. That time, uh, when the uh, the king's poet uh, told that uh, king that we got a huge boat in the sea show, then Gulliver was so happy and went and see. It was the same three ships, and that one small ship was only there. And he had no idea, so he cannot build his bag because he need more wood, and these people could not help. But the people did not, uh, the small people do not take it very easy. They
they took uh, they they finished this in without within uh, three days and the uh, Bolivar thanked everyone and uh, and and Bolivar do not know where to go so he 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 get also lost that's why the king gave some fruits vegetable water whatever he need that sm- that small boat but then also Bolivar adjusted then the Bolivar told bye bye and went in the in the water. While he was going, no one was there. He was very alone. At that time, suddenly the thunder came, and his boat just escaped from the thunder, and he came. At that time, he saw a big ship. He did not know what to do. The ship did not see that. So, because of the weights in that boat, like. Boots, many things, and many food. He took all the food and put outside, and he went. The, the, now the ship can go easily. He rode the ship fastly. Then the man on the ship told that and called all the people, and everyone put the rope and saved the Gulliver. So this story I made it in my own way. So the another story is there. I'll tell this part two also. So if you like this. Please share, share, comment, comment, comment and, and subscribe.